welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just a health and fitness video. Basically just all the information you need to know about what I do every single day to keep my health and fitness routine in shape basically. So I really hope you enjoy this video and if you want to know what it is I do in my routine then please keep watching. So the first main thing that I do for my health and fitness routine is a workout program called Insanity and this is a home workout and if you guys haven't heard of it before then it's an American workout with a guy called Sean T, the um, trainer of this. And this cost me about £50, it was from Amazon, I've had it for about three years. So when I first started using this, I lost a stone from it. So it's like a series of workouts, it goes on for I think about two months. And yeah, so I lost a stone the first time that I used it and then I stopped, stopped using it. Yeah, so basically I'm doing it again and I cannot recommend it enough, it's such a good workout. It's the only workout that makes me sweat and personally I would say it's the best cardio you are ever going to get. When I go to the gym I do not work as hard as I work when I do this workout. It is amazing. It's really intense. To be honest it's really quite hard. I find it hard but it just pushes you and he pushes you and it's just amazing. Like it's just such a good workout. So yes I would highly recommend Insanity. So it comes with a calendar and it recommends that you exercise every single day, which is what I do. It tells you what workout you have each day and one day you get cardio recovery, which is obviously a recovery exercise so it's a lot easier. And then one day you get a rest day, which is brilliant. Sometimes I don't do the rest day because personally I feel like I'm missing out on a days of exercise so I want to get that in there. Some weeks I will really, really need that rest day and I'm so excited for it. <laughs> So the other thing alongside exercising every day that I do is Slimming World. Now I'm sure you have all heard of Slimming World before. Personally, for me, it's the only, I don't want to say diet because it's not a diet, it's just eating healthily. It's the only plan that I've ever stuck to. So what it is, you get your welcome package when you start the group. You have options to go every single week to this group. Personally now, because I've moved down to Kent, I never ever go to the groups every week. There is one not far from me, but personally for me, I don't need to go every week to this group because all that you do is sit there, say how much you've lost a week, and say what your next goal is to lose for next week. It's honestly just eating healthy, cooking your food in the right way and just keeping an eye on what you eat. This Slimming World plan actually encourages you to eat more. So obviously it doesn't encourage you to eat more rubbish, but it lets you have what are called 15 sins a day. And sins are bad things. So for example, in my crisps that I had today, there was five and a half sins because crisps aren't good for you. However, they are Weight Watchers crisps, so they're a little bit better for you than other ones. So it's really easy to keep track of what sins you are having because they give you a pack with literally listed almost any food you can think of. And if it isn't in this welcome pack, then you can just Google it because there's so many forums where people are like, oh, how many sins in a cheese string or whatever. For me, I haven't changed much because I ate quite healthily anyway. The only thing that I've changed is instead of cooking, for example, my stir fry for tea in coconut oil, I will now cook it in fry light spray oil, which is a lot better for you. What I do every single day, I use this planner that I will put on the screen. So basically what I do, I log at the top the date and the fact that it is slim and well. Now this is actually a daily journal, it's not meant to be for this purpose but you know I use it for that anyway and I put at the top free foods and speed now this is all your fruit for example all your veg anything that's free and free meaning no sins so I put all of that in the box at the top then on the left I just put in my breakfast what I had lunch dinner and snacks then next to it on the list column I put the sins for each of these things and down below as you can see I do log how many minutes exercise I've done this day, if I've had a good day of sins or a bad day, so if I've gone over 15 or I've stayed under 15, and I also log how much water that I drink in a day because again this is another really really important thing in my health and fitness routine is drinking a lot of water. One because 
if I don't drink a lot of water I get quite bad headaches and I just feel horrible and two because everyone knows that water is amazing for your skin, your body, your health, just everything. Another thing that is in my regular routine is the Booty Tea Socks. Now I have used this for about three years now obviously on and off and honestly I can tell you it's so so good for your body so I get this from Holland and Barrett and at the moment my local store actually has a penny sale so you buy either the two week tea tox or the three or four I can't remember what it is three or four week tea tox and you can get another tea tox for one penny which is absolutely amazing now normally the 14 day detox is 19.99 and then I'm pretty sure that the 3 or 4 week is 34.99 but don't quote me on that but I will link the website down below for you if you guys want to check that out Booty also do a lot of fitness shakes, uh, they do porridge, just lots of stuff that is actually really good for me personally it makes my tummy a lot less bloated and it genuinely gives me so much energy for my insanity workouts every morning I will have the morning tea bag and honestly you can tell the difference i don't know how it works but so much you can tell the difference honestly i have so much more energy and which means i can really push for my workouts which is brilliant and then also there's a bedtime tea tox that you take every other day and this actually has a natural laxative in it so if you're not looking for that then i wouldn't go for this but yeah it's honestly amazing i also have actually done a blog post on this tea tox late last year i think it was so i will also link my blog down below if you want to go check that out the next thing that I tend to do around two or three times a week and that is yoga. Now I have a yoga app which I will insert in a clip and it is called Yoga Studio. It's a very very good app, one because it's free and two because you can choose beginners, intermediate or experts. You can then personalise your workouts, you can choose what poses you want to do so I definitely recommend this app. So it's called Yoga Studio and it's free so if you guys can download this and just do like a 10 minute session each day or a 5 minute session like 3 times a week or something honestly it probably will help you a lot so I definitely recommend that app. Another app that I have to keep track of my health and fitness is called Lifesum. Now you guys have probably heard of this. It's actually a really good app. But yeah, what it is, I will insert another clip for you guys, but it basically, you just put in your personal information, you tell them what your goal is, if you wanna lose weight, or if you wanna be healthier, if you wanna put on weight, whatever, and it will make sure that you do this in the most healthy way. But you tell them how many calories that you want to have a day, it then tells you how many you've got left, you just type in what you've ate, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and you can also log your water as well and it's just a really good way of just keeping yourself healthy and just knowing what that you're putting into your body and making sure that you're not having too many bad things. The last thing that I was just going to add into this video is my fitness and gym clothes. Now I don't like to splurge on fitness clothes because personally I do home workouts, no one sees me in them anyway so I don't really care about looking amazing. So I get the majority of my clothes from Primark, Forever 21 and JD Sports. I only tend to get things from JD Sports when there is a sale but my sports bras are Forever 21 and JD Sports. All of my leggings are from Primark apart from one pair that are from JD Sports, again these are in the sale. And all of my gym tops are pretty much from Primark and JD Sports. So yeah. I would definitely recommend Primark and looking at their gym stuff because lately they've actually brought out some really really nice things. For my trainers I don't tend to wear them when I'm doing my home workouts but I have got some Nike Rocher runs I think that's what you call them. <laughs> um, but yeah I got these because I did actually used to go to the gym quite a lot so these were really nice otherwise I wouldn't have bought them because no one sees me working out anyway. So yeah, I don't really tend to spend a lot on fitness clothes. Okay guys, that is it for my video today. It's really nice to just share with you guys what my health and fitness routine is because it is a big part of my life. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to me if you want to see more from me. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.